After the Lord's visit to Abraham at the grove of Mamre, two men, who were actually the angels of the Lord, appeared at the entrance of the city of Sodom in the evening. Lot was sitting there, and when he saw them, he rose to meet them and bowed himself with his face to the earth and said to them, My lords, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night, and then go on your way early in the morning. But the men replied, Nay, we will spend the night in the town square. However, Lot insisted so strongly that they went with him and entered his house. He prepared a feast for them, baking bread without yeast, which they ate. But before they had gone to bed, all the people from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house and called out to Lot, saying, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we may have carnal knowledge of them. Thus Lot stepped outside to reason with them, shutting the door behind him. He said to the people, Please, my brethren, do not do such a wicked thing. Behold, I have two daughters who have not known any man. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do with them as you please. Only do nothing to these men, for they are visitors and have come under the shelter of my roof. But the people rebuked Lot and said, Get out of our way. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to play the judge. We'll treat you worse than them. And they pushed Lot aside and went forward to break down the door. But the two angels reached out, pulled Lot into the house, and bolted the door. Then they struck the people who were at the door of the house, both young and old, with blindness, so that they could not find the door. And the angels questioned Lot, saying, do you have any other relatives here in the city, sons-in-law, sons, daughters, or anyone else? Get them out of this city, for we are about to destroy the whole of it. The outcry against the city of Sodom is so great that it has reached the Lord, and he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot rushed out and spoke to his sons-in-law, who were to marry his daughters. Hurry and get out of this place. The Lord is about to destroy the city, said Lot. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking, and when morning arose, the angels hastened Lot and said to him, Quick, take your wife and your two daughters who are here. Get out right now, or you will be swept away in the destruction of the city. But Lot still begged, saying, No, my lords, please. Behold, your servant has found favour in your eyes, and you have shown me great kindness in sparing my life. But I cannot flee to the mountains lest disaster will overtake me and I will die. Behold, there is a small village nearby. I pray you, let me go there instead. It is a small place, isn't it? Then my life will be saved. And the angel replied, Very well, I shall grant you this request. I will not overthrow the village you speak of, but hurry, run there quickly, for I cannot do anything until you reach it. And so, the village was called Zor, which means little place. By the time Lot reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land, and alas, the Lord rained down fire and burning sulphur on Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities and entire plain were destroyed, along with all of its inhabitants, animals and vegetation. As the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah burned to the ground, Lot's wife looked back, and alas, she turned into a pillar of salt and ceased to be alive. On the other side of Canaan, at the grove of Mamre, Abraham got up early that morning and hurried out to the place where he had stood in the Lord's presence. And as he looked down towards Sodom and Gomorrah, toward all the land of the plain, he saw dense smoke rising from the land, like smoke from a furnace. But God had listened to Abraham's request and kept Lot safe, removing him from the disaster that engulfed the cities on the plain.